All right, what's up everybody here? I'm super excited to be joined here today with Paul Newstrom. Uh, Paul's been a member of the agency coach community for a bunch of years now. He's been through our Review Pro Launchpad program uh, and actually has some history here in Tucson, which is why we get to hang out in person, which I'm super excited about. Uh, but what my, ca caught my attention most recently was the book that he released called Death of a Yellow Page Salesman. Now, Paul's got a big background in the yellow page industry. Um, and truth be told, I have a secret uh, obsession and love for how that industry has worked over time because I think it has such relevance to how we show up as digital marketers, as salespeople today. So uh, I wanted to pick Paul's brain around not only what's in his book, but his vast experience in sales and helping to build and grow a sales team. And I couldn't be more excited to have you here today, Paul. It's my honor. Thanks so much, Mike. Appreciate it. Awesome. Well, I'd love to get started and just give people a background on you. Um, it's a very winding tale. Yes, uh, as is. I've read this book, uh, it's a winding tale. And there's some things that kind of surprised me about the journey that you've been mm -hmm. on. But uh, before we get into all that, I'd love for people just to know about your background and uh, where, where you've come from and, and the, the yellow page industry that, uh, that where you started. Sure. Um, somebody yesterday just told me that they read their book, read my book. And they said, it's a lot like Forrest Gump. But the only <laughs> thing is, is Forrest Gump was fictional and mine's a true life account. But uh, I, I got actually started in, in marketing and advertising in college. Mm -hmm. And it was a great opportunity for me to learn about the industry. But I got very tired about the theory. And so in my book, I detailed the journey that I made, you know, from traditional print and then into yellow pages and then eventually into digital you know, working with your review program, uh, review pro. And so uh, it's been kind of a long 30, actually I have about a 40 year journey. Um, but the thing that, that I really, my forte was new business and, and generating and teaching uh, reps in the yellow page industry how mm -hmm. to generate new business. Right. And a lot of, of the stories in, in the book are actually about generating new business for your business. Yeah, so you've seen quite the transformation over time from how businesses are marketing themselves uh, from pre-internet to where we're at today. Mm -hmm. What would you say, uh, we know a lot of things have changed, but what things have remained the same in your opinion? Well, the power of traditional is still there. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen where if I follow up with postcards mm -hmm. and handwritten, just to some of my better prospects, and that are kind of lukewarm or maybe warm but not hot mm -hmm. is I can generate a lot of, I, I think I get about a 400% better response by following up with them with prospects and just a postcard. Right, makes sense because you're cutting through the noise of what's mm -hmm. happening digitally. Right. It used to be that we got a lot of junk mail and that the noise was happening inside the box at the end of our driveway and now it's happening in a, a digital box and so where you're able to capture people's attention is, is shifted a little bit. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things too, that's a real important point is connecting with your customer. In my other book that I published last July, that was also a number one bestseller, it's called Coaching Dink, and my chapter is called Top Gun Coaching. And it's how to close in one call. And in Yellow Pages, that was paramount because you only saw people once a year and your time's now. And so some people, I want to think about it. Say, well, I know it's a lot to think about. I've got actually 20 minutes. And so let's let's discuss your, all your thing, your thing, because otherwise I'll have to see you next year. Awesome. I'd actually love to dive into that. So okay. how, how does someone go about in closing someone in that kind of uh, short amount of time? Well, I detail out, it, it actually, uh, there's three stories in, in the Top Gun Coaching and Coaching Inc. And I talk about my two biggest sales I've ever made. Mm -hmm. One was digital and one was actually traditionally in, in Yellow Pages. Mm -hmm. One was Larry Panzarella here in Tucson. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, personal injury as well as a DUI attorney. I went in and we had an open spot on the back cover that was unsold. Mm -hmm. And so we had four hours to close somebody on that, that actual thing. He had already had three half pages in, in the book already under you know, his key categories. So I went in and I said, and I tell the story in the book, is Larry, I have an incredible opportunity for you, but it's 25 grand. And he goes, that's a lot of money. And so <laughs> we go through our, our, our process that mm -hmm. you, you understand very well as far as how to get a five to one return. Mm -hmm. And he had to get like 3.3 extra phone calls 
a day, and his closing ratio was 10%, one out of 10, and he would make five times his money. But as it ended up, he ended up getting 15 calls a day. So he made like an incredible amount of money. That was my best story as far as Yellow Pages. And then my best uh, story in the digital that it, it showed how I became the top rep in the nation for automart.com, which we are a sister company to AutoTrader. That's awesome. So that five and one principle, um, I got to experience that firsthand mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. one of your trained sales reps. Right. So for those of you guys, I was you, the one that trained him. You, the guy that came to sell me Yellow Pages all those years ago, mm -hmm. probably was somewhere around two thousand three or mm -hmm. four or something like that. Yeah. Came into my office and walked me through a sales process that I was, I, I knew that I had learned something about sales that day that would, would carry through the rest of my career. I'd love for you to share that. With, with the folks watching, if you could kind of give us the high level of how, how that worked. Without getting into the real numbers, as mm -hmm. far as you know how to do a five to one return on investment thing, I think the most important thing, and I really detail this out in Top Gun Coaching, is that to connect with your customer requires a very direct contact. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm all about local presence. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I do, that's yeah. my forte. And if you can't, do it in person than on the phone, mm -hmm. not by texting, not by email, not right. by, and you know, I, I'm still old school. So, you know, some, some things are hard to, hard to let go. But the important thing is, is that oh, people only listen to 9% of what you say. And so if you're thinking, okay, they don't listen to 91% of what I say then, you know, their mind is off thinking, well, you know, I got this other appointment, mm -hmm. I've got to pick up the kids, I've got, you know, this to-do list, whatever. But the real key to really be effective in, in, in what Top Gun coaching is all about, and it's really Top Gun sales, mm -hmm. is you've got to ask the right questions. Because if you engage them and they're talking and they're doing 90% of the talking and you're, you're just asking the right questions... It always led to a sale. If they had the need and the desire, it always led to a sale. Yeah, that's awesome. In, in my case, that salesperson was asking me questions like, you know, if I send you 10 people. How many people would you yeah. make a, a, a customer? Right. So I, I was able to kind of guess that number or had that number. And I said, okay, if 10 people come my way, you mm -hmm. know, I, I'm sure I'll bring them in on, you know, five of those people. Right. Right. And so we, he, he basically. And what's your average sale? Is right. it $1,500? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our program is 15 grand. So we need to get 10 customers in a year. Right. Right. So if you close half of them, then that means that we only need to get 30 phone calls. Yeah. So in a short amount of time, I pretty quickly understood that by running a yellow page ad that I had a high belief that I was going to get a certain number of calls. And even if I turned a small fraction of those calls into business, according to my numbers, my, the num my close rate and my average dollar sale, that the investment in the yellow page ads made an ab absolute sense. It was a no brainer mm -hmm. and I should do it. And, mm -hmm. and that paired with the fact that the book was going to print and I had a limited amount of time to make that decision really helped me to, to make that go forward. You know, years later, I would, I would learn how to sell the same way and sell reviews in a similar fashion. You know, I had a client that was a, a carpet store and he was very hesitant to sign on as a client and uh, said, you know, Mike, this is too rich for my blood. And I said, what? I said, what do you mean? He's like, ah, it's too expensive. I say, okay, well, I asked him, his name is Howard. I said, Howard, you know, what is the average dollar sale? If somebody comes in here to buy carpet, what is it? He's like, well, it kind of varies. I'm like, just, you know, humor me, right? Three, four grand. Yeah, he's like, $1,500 on the low end, but he's like, we get jobs all the time, 15 grand, 20 grand, okay. Mm -hmm. So I pulled open Google's, uh, you know, keyword planner and we looked up carpet store searches in the area and I think I just picked one keyword like Tucson carpet store or whatever it was and I remember there's like around a thousand searches a month that are happening for yeah, this thing yeah. I said Howard there's a thousand people looking for you right now right but they see you and I think we both agree you're not the obvious choice and uh, you know so I said if I, if I there's a thousand people and I get some of those people to call you what's the likelihood that you'd close them on these deals and, and he thought about it for a second he's like I get where you're going with this, Mike. And he reached mm -hmm. into his pocket, pulled that credit card, and said, "Let's let's let's get going." Mm -hmm. Right. So being able to show them, like in that case, you know, I wasn't making a specific promise of saying, "Hey, hey you know, you're going to get this much out of it." Mm -hmm. But he could just the math. The number was overwhelming in that is stacked in his favor, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's the same thing I saw sure. that day from your your yellow page rep. 
And that's why I think it's so cool to be sitting here with you now to, to share that and say, you know, that's had a massive impact on how I've gone to, on to sell. And I know a lot of our people in our community have benefited from you directly as a result. It's interesting you say that because Larry Panzarella said the same thing. That's way too expensive for me. I cannot afford that. Mm -hmm. Well, we had figured a five to one ratio with him investing 25000 That means it was a $125,000 return. And I said, Larry, you know this is going to bring back way more than 3.3 phone calls a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the back cover. Right. So um, I want you to understand that this isn't a matter of how much it's going to cost you by not by by doing it. It's going to, how much is it going to cost you by not doing it. Right. If I walk out that door right now, it's going to cost you 125 grand. It's the most important decision you're going to make this year. And you've got 20 minutes to make it. Yeah. It's the most expensive decision he's going to make, not in the way he originally thought, right? Right, right, you know, right. Costing him money. Right. And so the takeaway mm -hmm. where he, he had the fear of loss, it, it is an incredible motivator. I mean, if, if you close, and the one call close is based upon not the opportunity of gain, mm. but it's the fear of loss. And so it's kind of a tricky thing to, to put in front of people. But the important thing is if they understand that if, if this particular program is, is going to nail, it's like Chapman Motor. They were my biggest digital sale. Yep. And I figured that they were losing on the average of about hundred grand a month by not doing business with me. And when you're talking seven dealerships and everything, I just told them, I said, how much money, how much more money are you going to be willing to lose? And he goes, what are you talking about? And I said, I have been pitching you for four months now. I've talked to every one of your seven general managers. And I just wonder, how much more money are you going to be willing to lose? Right. And he goes, well, how do you figure? And I said, we're giving 160 digital leads per dealer on the average. And it's an average cost of $7.75 a lead. And I said, how much more money are you, are you wanting to lose? Because you know at 160 leads, and we're talking like like they're wanting like a quote, they're wanting a test drive, they're wanting, you know, it's a phone call, you know, not like a click. Yeah, so there's really, there's real power in helping clients see the world through your eyes and understanding what the true opportunity is. I mean, that's that's why people buy is that mm -hmm. they're, they see that the way that you do, and the better you can communicate that. Like, it's not the client's job to figure that out. It's our job as salespeople right. to bring that story to them and show them how it works. The, the problem is, is that the world has trained us to become sales resistant. Mm. We know that out of every time we ask, out of every 10 times you ask something, eight out of 10 times are going to say no, right? Yep. So we just need to know how to ask the question in a way that no is the answer that we want. Right. So you wouldn't mind if we got started on this today, would you? No. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So, you know, the opportunities for, for salespeople these days is such that, you know, we're very apprehensive to approach people. We're very apprehensive to ask for the sale. But what I taught my reps way back when is, is that you are not taking to a place where they don't want to go necessarily. It's just they're resistant to it. And so your job is to help them to grow their business. Do they want to grow their business or not? So it's a simple choice because if they do it, they're going to grow. If you don't do it, it's going to stay the same or not grow or get worse. Mm -hmm. So, and if you walk out the door, it's going to cost them. Yeah, that's huge. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things I really appreciate uh, you being old school, as, as you put it, um, is that, you know, these days there's a lot of focus on how to drive leads through the internet and have conversations digitally to close clients. And there's a lot of great training and information out there on doing that, though your background has been a lot more face to face, belly to belly mm -hmm. with the people that you're working with. And, and I know that you've got some ideas and tips for, for, the, for the person who's sitting behind the keyboard, hoping and, and planning to build mm -hmm. a business around uh, digital experiences. That's great. But what tips would you have for that person who maybe hasn't considered the power of of, of way you've grown businesses mm -hmm. and, and really had a lot of success. Well, let me give you just a, a real grassroots story of, I had uh, some roof damage on my home and I was at Costco looking for some, some actually gutter guards. Mm -hmm. And they had the best gutter guards of anybody of all the different you know home improvement stores. And so I thought, okay, 
I'm going to go ahead and go get him. So I went in, and of course, I want to stop by Costco and get a hot dog, right, and stuff. Sure. So I go there, and there's this these two guys that were kind of big guys, and they have a full shopping cart of nothing but gutter guards. Mm-hmm. And I went, oh, this is just too, too good to be true. And so it ended up that I said, are you guys gutter guys? And they go, yeah, we are. And I said, can I, can I actually buy you a hot dog? And they go... Well, yeah. I mean, we were just waiting for, you know, so, and so we sit down and we start talking. And I said, you know, I really need a quote for some gutters, but I also have some roof damage. So I was asking, you know, should I get the, the gutters done first or the roof? I already knew what I want, but, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's asking the right question, right? right? And so it ended up that they not only did my roof, but they did the gutters and they became a client. Just because, you know, I said, you know, I can do you some favors and you can do me some favors. Right. So I got a great price on the roof and mm-hmm. I got a great job done and um, became a great client from it. So, you know, you think about it is who you network, who you bump with. I mean, one of the things I remember when you first started mm-hmm. and listening to thing is you used to go to the chamber meetings. You used to do the meet and greets. You used to hand out business cards. You used to shake and glad hands. Right. It wasn't a matter of just sending out emails and sending out, you know, Instagrams and Facebook posts and all this, you know, because that that's that's like marketing from forty thousand feet. Mm. And so when you're at ground level, shaking hands, looking people directly in the eyes, that's what I call direct local marketing, and it's powerful. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people struggle with getting digital marketing strategies to work for their own agencies at the beginning. Like it's mm-hmm. oftentimes not the first place that I'd say a digital agency should mm-hmm. start mm-hmm. because there's people in their own sphere of influence that yeah. need their help with somebody they like and they trust. So one of the things that I really detail out in the book, Death of a Yellow Page Salesman, is how to take your business from lost to found and then how to take it from empty to full. Mm. And so with Google, I mean, Google has changed the game for everybody. It completely wiped us out in the yellow pages. There's, there's no way fans about about that. Yeah, no doubt. 92% of people that look for a search are on Google. So where is the mega wave to catch? You know, if you want to surf it, you know, and catch the wave, it's on Google. There's no way fans. I mean, that's, that's where it's at. So if you can help a business with their Google, it used to be GMB, now it's Google Business Profiles. And so, you know, that's the first step. And I I really believe that that's your inroads with a client. And so if I have that as my loss leader, and, you know, if I make nothing on that or just, you know, trade with them, you know, as far as gifting, can't call it trade, but you you can gift your services for theirs. But... You know, I detail out about four different stories in here, how I did that to get started with a client. And one was a a nail salon that there were 70 nail salons in our area. She was number 17. And I said, how about if you do my wife's nails in exchange for me helping you with your Google? She didn't even have a website. So we started doing some some things with Google. I I put keywords in on our our description. Mm -hmm. I took all the keywords from all of her top competitors and put them right in her profile. Right. And then we really started on on the reviews. And her customers absolutely loved her. She had Mm -hmm. like a 5.0, but she only had about 40, 40 reviews. So in a matter of four months, she got 99 reviews. And she became number one out of 70 from 17. That's great. And her business just exploded. So it's something where you opened up the conversation with helping them get their Google business profile set up, optimized, Mm -hmm. but then turning that into a a business opportunity and all the other things that they need, helping them with reviews and everything on from there. That, and I wanted to know if they were any good with my wife's pedicure or manicure. Sure. And if they were pleasant (laughs) to deal with, because if not, you know, next. Yeah, no doubt. That's cool. What I think about Google Business Profile and even now Apple releasing their Apple Business Connect, doing something very similar in terms of having a profile, it's like imagine back in the day if your salespeople could go out to a business and say, hey, would you like a free yellow page listing? In fact, I'm going to give you the full page, full color, and you can have the whole thing for free. You'd have businesses lining up to, to take advantage of that. The difference between then and now is that there is an ascension path for other things that can be sold that really help to monetize the relationship. You know, back then all you had was the printed book that was the beginning and the end of the story. Mm-hmm. And so I, I think there's just such a powerful, powerful opportunity to start conversations 
around Google Business Profile, around mm -hmm. Apple Maps and their new Connect program right. that allows people to really give this stuff away or, or at least do it very economically to create the lead and the opportunity to ascend people to their other services. Right, right. And, you know, getting started with a business or a new business that starts mm -hmm. is kind of my forte. That's my specialty. But your specialty in helping with your agency coach program is how to take people to the next level that are already doing well with Google. And so if you can outsource that, you know, the website, you know, all of the, the social media marketing and all that, then, then you're just talking next level to next level to next level. Right. So, I mean, we talked about a winding journey and uh, where you're, where you've been and, I, and, you know, I'd love to understand kind of where, where you went after yellow pages and, and how, uh, how things have, have unfolded since then. Are you talking about now or, or since Yellow Pages? Yeah, since Yellow Pages. Now, Yellow Pages, I fell flat on my face. And I talked about that, and that's the lost part in this book, is I was almost on the streets in San Diego, homeless, and I had, at, at the time, $115 to my name. And I was thinking, you know, what do I do? And I was actually at my desk... And I just lost my wallet mm -hmm. and all my credit cards. And I had $100 in the bank and $15 in my desk because all the money in my wallet was gone. Mm -hmm. And so I just said a little prayer. And I remember thinking how thankful I was that God had always taken care of me. And I'd always had a roof over my head. I always had meals. I'd always done well. And, but for whatever reason, this circumstance, I fell flat on my face. And I, I talk a lot about what caused me to fall flat mm -hmm. on my face. And part of it was my inability to get unstuck. Mm -hmm. I was stuck in the old past and I couldn't seem to move forward. So a lot of this book is about how to get unstuck. And so I finally, you know, was, was at this moment of really thankfulness, which I think is the key to prosperity. Mm -hmm. And because it attracts just the wealth of God. And there was an idea that came to me. And there was a really nice little little kind of bar restaurant across the street down from a... I was right on the beach in San Diego. And uh, they had steak and lobster for like $39.95. Mm -hmm. And I went and I talked to the business owner and I said, What do you think of me taking a picture of your business and... You know, we can exchange, you know, I'll, you can gift me a steak and lobster and I'll gift you, you know, getting started with a review program with, with um, your business. And the thing was, is the outside, it looked kind of like a dive. Mm -hmm. and But the inside, it was nice and he had great food and a great price. Yeah. And so it ended up that that was a nice meal for one. And basically, it only cost me my time and a few clicks on my camera, on my phone. And uh, but that one picture went on to get one million views in just a matter of a few months. Wow! And it's power. That's a power of Google. And you know when you can get like attraction with a business owner by just making a few changes. And the Google Business Profile is all about activity, and it's it's a program that that I believe that that I'm called to teach people how to do. Mm -hmm. And that's all about my localsearchpros.org. And then we also have another program we're developing called Certified Search Pros. But, you know, with outsourcing all that stuff, you don't really need to know that. That's awesome. So, you know, from here, what is what is the future of uh, of where you're headed look like in terms well, of both your agency and the, the programs that you're, you're putting together? You know, I uh, actually retired and drew Social Security and I'd done pretty well because I made great money in Yellow Pages all those years. And so... Once retirement started, it was actually it freed up a lot of things and kind of created some good opportunities. But the book has been uh, an incredible success. It was just uh, amazing what happened is on the back cover, it talks about it was the number one international bestseller in 10 business and self-help categories. Congratulations. Thank you. In four countries. And then the other book published in July is still like number 11, number 13 mm -hmm. after, I don't know, what, eight months and the thing is, is that, you know, if you have a message to tell people, you can create a movement. And I've actually, Eileen Wilder has hired me as a coach to help people to speak in front of crowds. And so my particular program with her is to teach people how to t turn your message into a movement. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, as we wrap up here today, Paul, uh, any advice you have for the agency that might be... Uh, sitting there kind of wondering how to get unstuck or how to get to the next step or 
you know, how to better leverage uh, the experience that you've shared with us here today. You know, I've been thinking a lot about this on my, my trip. We actually have been wintering in Arizona and I have a, my, my home is in, in Minnesota and my company's based out of Idaho. But I've been thinking a lot about what is it that I can really do to help people. And my background has, has been to teach people how to do things at just a very, very top level. Mm -hmm. And sports is my background, and I was a part of, of several national championship programs, but it really comes down to championship mindset. Mm -hmm. And there's some things that we do that can actually attract prosperity, but I'm a full believer that all prosperity comes from God Almighty. And so, you know, when you tap into that type of prosperity, when you have a prosperity that you have no need, you have no wants, and maybe not like tens of millions of dollars, but you're so content and you're a giver, not just a taker. It's an incredible success. So in, in effect, I think I'm going to become a prosperity coach. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, if people are interested in picking up the book or following up with you with uh, any of your programs, what's the best way for them to, to do that? Well, one is just to get the book on Amazon, Death of a Yellow Page Salesman. And you can look up Coaching Inc. by Ray Brem. He's the lead author or Top Gun Coaching. But if you go to paulnustrom.com, that's Paul and my last name is spelled N as in November, E-U-S-T-R-O-M, paulnustrom.com. Awesome. Well, be sure to pick up the book. Uh, it's been really awesome read. Uh, great tales, good stories, amazing advice. And Paul, thanks so much for joining Thank me here you. today. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Thanks so much.